Today I'm testing some green watercolors from Daniel Smith. This brand doesn't need any introduction at all. We all know it's high up the ladder, so let's prepare our tools and get started. First on the list is everyone's favorite, sap green. This green has all the watercolor properties. I gather them from Daniel Smith's website. If we trust Daniel Smith, sap green is a non-fugitive medium staining deep forest green. Next color is deep sap green. I have a few things to share about this color, but I'll save that for later. Like sap green, it's also a forest green. It is medium staining, but unlike sap green, this one is non-granulating. Deep sap green has a broad tonal value and it's almost black in mass tone. Its permanence has been questioned many times though. I'll tell you more about that later. Third color on the list is olive green. It's a warm green, almost brownish green, semi-transparent to semi-opaque, and low staining. If you're looking for a natural green, this is the one to rely on. Olive green has a slight granulation, and that's perfect for wet grasslands or if you're trying to paint mossy passages. Because it's low staining, color lifting is easier with olive green. Our next color, Paraline Green, is known for its impressively strong, almost black master that spreads to a gorgeous blue leaning green wash without looking muddy. That's why it's perfect as a glazing or shadow color. Paraline Green is excellent for conveying emotions, for painting moody landscapes, and for painting misty mornings by the beach. Fifth color on today's palette is Thale Green yellow shade. It creates luminous, clean glazes, and it's also high staining and super transparent. Botanical artists love this color immensely. Next color is from the Primatech collection, Serpentine Genuine. An exceptionally beautiful soft granulating green with lavender to pale burnt scarlet specks. Serpentine Genuine is a vigorous green. It is wonderful for meadow scenes and sunlit landscapes. Green Appetite Genuine is another Primatech green. Its wide tonal value allows for a beautiful range of greens, from fresh yellowish green to deep olive greens. It honestly reminds me of Roman Schmal's Aquarius Green. Zoosite Genuine is a dramatically granulating, smoky green. In very light washes, it appears grayish green with a micro dotted surface. Heavy washes will expose the granulation wonderfully. The surface fractures to a black leather look with a three dimensional effect. It's just fascinating to see. Fuchsite Genuine is taking us to the lighter side of the spectrum. Well, I hope that's the correct pronunciation because the obvious alternative does not sound friendly at all. Fuchsite is a subtle elegant green with a luminous pearly shimmer. It's a Primatech color also. Finally, Amazonite Genuine. It is one of the few Primatech watercolors with no granulation. On its own, it displays a lovely teal color. It's also transparent and non-staining. I can imagine this to be a highly mixable color. Alright, after 24 hours, our swatches are ready. Left to right, we have sap green, deep sap green, olive green, perylene green, and thalo green yellow shade. So now let's take a look at serpentine genuine. This color makes a great addition to your floral and landscape palette. Next, we have green appetite genuine. Its versatility allows for rich contrasts and textures. Speaking of textures, Zoicide Genuine is next. The granulation here reminds me of black leather or the surface of the moon. I guess you have to try it to appreciate it. Now let's lighten up the mood with Fuchsite Genuine. As a delicate green glaze, this will add a unique glow to your paintings. 
And now for our last color, Amazonite Genuine. As a standalone color, it's beautiful, but it's also a highly mixable color. These five Primatech greens have impressive mass tones. They make smooth, clean washes, and for natural pigments, they lift amazingly well. As I show you the colors once again, let's talk about deep sap green. Please remember to place it away from light sources. It has a unique reaction to UV rays and can be fugitive when exposed to sunlight. The good news is it has the ability to recover when placed back indoors. As always, the description box below has the links to all the products featured in this video. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.